Up next, baby back ribs marinated in Dr. Pepper on the Oklahoma Joes. So we got the three racks of baby back ribs that are marinating in Dr. Pepper and chopped up onion and probably about a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. And this is gonna be a simple Kansas style rib rub. A half a cup of brown sugar, quarter cup of paprika, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and a tablespoon each of coarse kosher salt, black pepper, garlic, onion powder, and chili powder. And we're gonna combine those. Tomorrow, we're gonna put the rub on and uh, let it set for about a half hour and the ribs will go on the smoker. Okay, it's smoke day. So if you remember 12 hours ago, we soaked these ribs in Dr. Pepper, chopped onions, and some Worcestershire sauce. So I'm just gonna take them out and blot them dry, and then put on the rub that we made last night, the Kansas City style rub. If this was more of a salt type brine or a salty marinade, marinade I, would, I, would, I would rinse the ribs off. Um, but being Dr. Pepper and some onion and about a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce, I don't think we're going to have a, a, a problem with having the, the ribs over salted. I did pull off the membrane off all three ribs. Now we'll put on our Kansas City rub. I normally rub the day the night before, um, so I'm trying something a little different. I'm gonna do it the day of and give it about maybe a half hour or so. Okay, in about 30 minutes, I'll meet you out at the smoker. All right, let's put them on. I will end up rotating these in a couple hours. And I should note, if you come over here and look, I've got two pans for moisture, and I've got AW cream soda in both of those pans. Well, we're coming up on two hours. I've been spritzing the ribs with some a and w cream soda oh, about every 30 minutes or 45 minutes or so they're coming along starting to get some pull back on the bone i should mention that uh, i've been burning apple and i had some hickory i threw in there and another cool trick if you take an onion Cut an onion up, maybe quarter it, and throw it in the firebox. Gives a great aroma to the smoke. Drives the neighbors nuts. And uh, might even add a little flavor to your ribs or whatever meat you're smoking. K 
Okay, it's been two hours. I'm gonna experiment. I'm gonna pull two of these and wrap them, and the other one I'm gonna leave on, and we'll see what happens. And this one we're gonna move over here. So I've got the typical brown sugar, butter, and honey. And we're gonna wrap two of these, like I said. I'm gonna try and leave the other one. Unwrap. Add a little bit of honey to the back side. A little bit of butter and brown sugar. I'm using this Heinz Memphis style sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. I just added uh, back and forth three or four times on the back side of the ribs before I wrap them. Put them back on the smoker about another hour, maybe hour and 15 minutes. And then we'll pull them out of the foil. I wrap two. We're going to put these back on. And we're going to keep this one unwrapped. Be back in about an hour. Okay, let me show you what I did here. I took these, after about an hour, I took these out of the wrap, and I went ahead and wrapped this one that I wasn't going to because I was worried about it drying up. So I did wrap it, and I put a little bit of uh, a &W cream soda in there. So these here, I'm gonna use a glaze. These are the drippings from the foil. And I'm gonna mix a little of that with some barbecue sauce and glaze these up. And these are about done. As you can see, the pullback. So we're gonna finish these up. Yeah, I'm doing up a little garlic bread. If you wanna try something really good, try this product here, Chef Shamey Gourmet Garlic Butter with real Parmesan cheese and basil. Just put that on both sides of your bread especially if you can get oak wood bread. And grill that up, man, it's the best. It really is. Okay, so here we are. Uh, let's cut into them and see what we got here. And move in on that. Great smoke ring and very, very moist. I'm anxious to see how the Dr. Pepper um, marinade is going to turn out. All right, let's try and see. Wow, excellent. They're they're pull off the bone. They're not falling off the bone, which is what I wanted to avoid. I know a lot of people like to fall off the bone, but so does a pot roast. This is excellent. This is just right. So let's look at the one that we didn't wrap. This one right here, we did not wrap. And I can already tell it's a little bit drier than the ones that I did wrap. That's really good, but it is a little bit drier. I would recommend wrapping ribs, uh, doing the Texas Crutch. Um, excellent. Uh, either way would be acceptable, but I would definitely go with the wrapped. So there you have it. Three baby back ribs, um, marinated in Dr. Pepper, chopped onion, 
to about a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. And then uh, the Kansas City rub that you see me make last night. And um, about four hours on the smoker. So there it is, baby back ribs, marinated in Dr. Pepper, chopped onion, Worcestershire sauce, and a Kansas City rub. I am very happy with this combination and will make this my go-to. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please like and comment in the bottom and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that.